Good day ladies and gentlemen. My name is Subramaniam Maslamani. I am a Tamil. Today my topic is we are building the biggest team ever. Everyone a winner. Let me tell you the truth. When we took the first steps we never thought we will go this far. Indeed we are surprised at the speed at which freedom is unfolding. Therefore my fellow Tamils never ever hesitate to take the first step and you will be surprised what can be achieved. To survive as Tamils we have to unite. Please listen to what Jean Jacques Rousseau have to say. I assume that people reach a point where the obstacles to their preservation and progress may prove greater than the individual strength they have. Beyond this point the existing state of conditions cannot endure, exist and assist them. And the human race will perish if it does not change its mode of existence. Therefore, Tamils have to unite and find a new way of existence. Our progress forwards depends on our united and concerted effort. We have to come to, to the we have come to the limit of our individualistic progress. Further progress depends on how we unite as one community of people. Therefore, we have set out to build a new model for Tamils worldwide. We are building a team of 65 to 70 million Tamils living all over the world. This will be the biggest team ever. Let me give you my good news first. Forget about the traditional form of governments. Example, the concept of a country within the physical borders and the creation of sovereign nations with its government and the government having jurisdiction over the citizen. That's the old model. In the early 1980s, it was proposed that the existing form of governments are not suitable for the modern world where money, goods and information flows freely. This is the new world. Religions, business, money and information are transnational. Internet has made governments less relevant. So if our Tamils folks wonder who is going to lead the freedom struggle, the answer is simple. We are all going to be leaders like the Boston Marathon where everybody runs but no leaders, all winners. Modern democracy wants everyone to be a leader. One leader or even a few leaders do not have the capacity, experience and wisdom to lead the people. All Tamils must learn to behave in such a way to maintain and strengthen the community. I see people of Muslim faith have one common faith and they all obey it. Similarly, Tamils must have a faith and we all must obey that faith. We have to develop a sense of belonging and brotherhood. The family, the community and the sense of belonging are important to our survival. Therefore, every Tamil is now endowed with a greater responsibility than before. You have to take care of yourself and your community. Forget about looking up to any leader to lead you. You are your own master, you design your own destiny and you work for it. You are a free man to live your own life. No sheep, all shepherds. The borders are dissolving, governments are bankrupt, but people move on. The world will function normally if the governments are taken out of the equation. So if the governments are less important and becoming irrelevant and redundant, why try to form a government? Why looking for a borders and restrict your fortune? This is the background on which we Tamils are going to be the pioneers. We invented the catamaran. We pioneered the international trade and travel. Borderless nation is our contribution, gift to the new world. So here we are to set out to build a formidable team of people whom we have not even met before. But the mission is so pure, so divine, so selfless, it is succeeding. To bring all Tamils living all over the world under one ideology, we have to come up with a mission. Therefore, our mission is to encourage Tamils all over the world to come together as one community and form a synergistic, social, 
economic and political entity that will empower every Tamil to become a great citizen with self-esteem, self-respect and self-sufficiency. We need to have a set of things to do to achieve this mission. They are, all Tamils must accept each and every Tamil as member of the same alliance, same faith. All Tamils must be united, whatever differences exist in our minds. All Tamils must educate their children at least for 15 years, which means a basic university degree. All Tamil families must accept the sanctity of marriage and the institution of marriage. No one owns a family, but we all belong to the family. A sense of belonging, not ownership. Every family must have three children. All families have transgenerational families. Three generations form part of the family. Must own home and land free and clear of any obligation. Must promote building educational institutions, research and development. Building our own professional services such as health, legal and accounting. Promoting business formation. Business is a source of wealth and employment. Earning, saving, and investment to ensure total control over our own destiny. Promoting good relations with resident governments and other communities. The Sri Lankan government acts like an insecure and inferiority complex child. It is bent on destroying the Tamil will, freedom, peace and peace. The Sri Lankan government is doing false propaganda to divide the Tamils. But Tamil people must not succumb to such narcissistic attempts. Tamil people must remain calm and resolute in the face of an unreasonable enemy. It's our duty to help them to wean out of their self-destructive behavior. The goal of Tamil is one, the resolve must be one, but the pathways may differ. All roads lead to one destination, therefore there cannot be any division. Tamil culture is transgenerational, so there is no point compromising our long-term stability to short-term illusions. Tamil must think as a family, as a group, and as a community. As we always say, a fish will only discover water last, but it is too late. Community is the pond in which we live. It is very important we tolerate small shortcomings to look at the large picture. As I always say, all Tamils must unite work hard, stay together and never ever give up. Tamils in Sri Lanka have to be optimistic and have faith in diaspora. We are working relentlessly not only to free you but to unite the 70 million Tamils worldwide and to give much better political and economical clout in the world capitals. Please assured we will free you. God bless you and we are with you. Thank you for listening. As I always say, stay together, work hard, never ever give up. My name is Subramani Maslamani, a world-class Tamil, powered by convictions, commitments and conscience. Thank you.